this is the structure of factory method pattern. We will see how this is implemented in Swift source. Here is the protocol product. It has method use product. So this method will be defined in its subclasses. Here is the subclass concrete product derived from product. And here it implements the method use product. Inside this, it is just displaying this statement. Here is the class creator. It has variable product of type product. And it has method factory method return type is product. This method must be defined in subclass. Otherwise, if it is used, then it will throw error. And here is the method an operation return type is product. Inside this, it is calling the method factory method and the returned value is assigned to variable product. Then it returns the product. Here is the subclass concrete creator derived from creator and here it overrides the method factory method. Inside this, it creates the concrete product object and returns it. Okay, we will see how all these classes are used. Here we have variable prod of type product and here we are creating concrete creator object and we are assigning it to variable prod creator of type creator and then here we are calling the method an operation of prod creator prod creator is pointing to concrete creator object so it will go to concrete creator an operation since concrete creator is derived from creator so it will come here an operation of creator and inside this it is calling the method factory method which is available in subclass concrete creator which is creating concrete product object and it is returning that object and the returned object is assigned to variable product then it returns the product which is assigned to variable prod so concrete product object which is returned from here is assigned to product and again the product which is holding the concrete product object is returned and assigned to prod so when we are calling the method use product it will go to use product of concrete product so it will come here and it will display this statement so we can see in this way subclass is creating the concrete product object.